we're going to switch gears here um, to uh, the one view. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sign out here. And I'm going to go J.D. Edwards. So one view again is not using and we're not in essence triggering and building things from the BI Publisher Enterprise interface to start. You're actually going into your JD Edwards menus and then you're going to build reports um, from, from the, the data from an inquiry screen or, or an element within JD Edwards. Before we do one view, I do want to show you one more thing because even with the BI Publisher standalone, you do have the ability to hyperlink reports. And one of the things that we do want to show as an example is even, let's say, from some reporting menus here, if you had built those financial nicely formatted business units and balance sheets, you can actually link those from your E1 menus and call those from here as well. So if I call that, it's now going to go in and have to log in. All right, so now in essence I've got the uh, you know the report linked and I can you know call those reports from within the E1 menus. So that's another option there of how you can integrate some standalone reports within uh, E1. Let's go back here and we're going to navigate to uh, an inquiry screen. In this case I'm going to go to maybe daily processing, um, accounting inquiries. You'll notice all these normal inquiries that are in JD Edwards. There's also some one view inquiries. I'm going to open this account balance inquiry. And in this case, we're, um, I'm going to pull, let's say, all business units, all object accounts, maybe just AA ledger types, just for fiscal year seven, 2017. Um, I want to pull period, let's say, 6 through 6. Let's suppress our balances. And I'm going to filter on company 1. So this we can see here in this grid, this happens to be one of the one view grids that you would get with the, um, the one view reporting if you purchase, purchase that from, from Oracle. And if I go ahead and show all columns here, you'll notice that these grids, I think they're referred to as kind of like super grids because they have a lot of content here, the company and the description and the business unit and you just scroll to the right, you've got all your account cat codes, business unit cat codes, you know, kind of a lot of information here that you can use for your reports that you're going to build here on the fly. Before we build a new report from scratch, let's go ahead here under one view and you'll notice let's go ahead from these lists of reports. So again, if you bought the package content, you can license the one view from just the common, the architecture to have one view integrated into JDE. Um, but if you want these super grids and you want these report samples from Oracle, then you can purchase those by JD Edwards module by user. So if I look here at the trial balance, this happens to be one of Oracle's delivered reports. So you can go ahead and click on those once you've um, navigated to the proper inquiry screen, then whatever reports are associated on top of that inquiry screen will be what will be available for you. Log in. Okay, in this case here we've got maybe trial balance by account. Again, these are all kind of the pivot tables with the interactive um, reports that, that Oracle's kind of thrown together here for you. Um, so you can actually use some of these reports. They may answer some of your questions. Um, maybe some things you want to start from and then build from those. But um, an example of, you know, we've kind of taken a slightly different approach. You know, the report samples that, that most report samples will build. And some of the interactive reports we do in our training are very similar to that, but we, you know, add some of the elements that are, are meant for interactive purposes. But we, um, we're looking at reports that are most likely going to be printed or even shared and professionally formatted. So if I were to go here and look at a trial balance by business unit object and sub, this would be an example of one of preferred strategies report samples that may be more, you know, something that would be nice to, uh, to send to a printer. Um, these are typically be formatted as like a PDF format. So you can see here, rather than just having a bunch of tables, you know, the data summarized and 
you know, formatted nicely, kind of like the income statements and balance sheets. So this is a, there's, we, in our training, we, we teach how to develop these types of reports as well as real quick wins and ad hoc uh, interactive reports as well. So those are just a couple of report examples. If you wanted to build a new report from the data that's residing on this grid, we can go in here and choose uh, Add Reports. It opens up this report definition on the left. I can use column names or, or data dictionary item names. Um, if you're not familiar with all the data dictionary, the aliases, then you might want to use the, the column titles because those will be more descriptive. In this case, I want to use all records as I'm building this. Um, maybe then you just choose the, the little uh, green pluses here. So I want business unit, description, object, sub, and account description. I scroll to the right. Maybe I want ledger type, four-digit fiscal year, maybe the period number, the beginning balance, maybe a period net posting, and a cumulative balance. Okay. So those you'll notice all the objects that you've gotten, you can remove them from here, add additional objects. Uh, once you've selected all your objects, you can go ahead and hit save. And you now have to give this a name. So this would be in essence a financial report demo. So one of the major differences of building now at this point, we're now moving into the same layout editor that we did on the standalone. So the main difference is where we started from on the standalone side, we started from when you hit new report, grab a data model, and got on our way. Here we're choosing a new report, selecting our objects. It kind of creates the data model for us. Again, only linked from J. Edwards. We'll go ahead and choose a preferred strategies landscape format. And you can set up your own report formats with different blocks and, you know, charts already there and tables and pivot tables and logos and things like that. Okay. In this case, maybe instead of having a data table, I'm just going to delete that. Put my grid back in there. And maybe I want to insert here maybe a pivot table instead. Okay. So now if we wanted to go in and see maybe our business unit um, And let's see, we want to pull in um, amount, maybe our period net posting or something. All right, so that kind of gives us a summary there. Um, if we go ahead and undo that. Maybe we can actually show our columns here as well. Maybe by fiscal year, we want to show fiscal years as our columns. And then within that, we want to see our period net posting. Okay. And you can have multiple amounts and multiple levels. Because this is the pivot table, um, you can go in and um, you know add different levels. It'll have the interactive drill down as well. I want to format these numbers, right? Maybe uh, without decimals. Could do that. Um, we can extend the width of this across the page, bring it all the way down. Okay. What if we wanted to add another layer here, maybe by object account or we normally use the accounts and descriptions. Again, this would be one of the, the, the drawbacks of the uh, one view because I can only build a data model. I'm sorry, I could only build a report from that grid. If I want to concatenate two objects together, you could do that in a data model with standalone. There's no formula editor within the layout editor that allows you to build those types of more complex formulas. So whatever you get from that layout, from that um, super grid or the inquiry screen is all you get. Um, now you can do simple logic for with addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, but there isn't really a defined formula editor today uh, inside the layout editor. If I want to drag, let's say, the account description next to our business unit. We could do that. Uh, we can go in here and you know sort ascending, descending. Now we'll go ahead and let's save this. And we'll call this like a financial report one. Okay, we can go ahead and do a save as, save it as a different layout, kind of get those different formats, and those can all be called from the, uh, the one view menu. We can go ahead and view this on the fly. What does this look like? Interactive or, or PDF. 
All right, so here it is, drilling into that. You can kind of see the results right there. Now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to save this, and I'm going to hit return here. This is now going to take us back to our, and you'll see a lot of similarities, because it's still BI Publisher Enterprise. I mean, it's right there at the top. Even though we're in one view, we're in BI Publisher Enterprise. I'm looking, I'm running out of time here, so I'm going to have to wrap this up pretty quickly. Um, but you can go in here and specify different formats, uh, what available formats, what the default format you want to be when the report opens up. Um, we'll go ahead and uh, close out of here. The way you call those reports, you'll notice back at the One View menu, when we hit that drop down from the anchor screen, it's available now or any time we come back to it, is that report we just called. Okay. So if I go ahead and I can click on that, it'll open the report on the fly. You can even go here to Manage Reports. And it's going to open up here on the right. You can specify your format you want that to open up in as well. Um, so that's another way how you can you click up here. That would be how you go back and edit and make changes to the report. So that's how you pretty much call the reports right there. So you build them, and then you can also, from here, the report definition, you'll see some other things. You can copy the report. You can promote the report. Some of the different options there as well. If you want to delete the report, you can do that as well. So that was kind of uh, one view. Um, again, we uh, we have said, and we'll talk a little bit more about how we can help you if OneView is is on your radar, or you've already implementing it, or looking to implement it.